Welcome back everyone. It's lunchtime. I'm going to show you how to make a Manhattan open roast beef sandwich. One of my husband's favorites. Now it's true to form that you use regular white bread or some wheat bread. We're toasting ours today. Y'all come along and let's really quickly put this one together. Now we're back here on my stove and I've got three pans. Now don't let that scare you off. All we're doing is heating things through so it won't take very long to be back here before we're building a sandwich. Let's start with the first pan, then we'll move on to the second and the third and build it all together. And it's going to be quick. In our first skillet, I'm going to add half a cup of beef broth. Now we're making this very semi-homemade, which means just about everything is already kind of pre-made. We're just going to heat it up. We're not going to put any work into this at all. I'm going to put this on a medium-high heat, right there. I picked up some roast beef. Now we just had the deli cut this for us, and we're going to add this to our pan. Well, probably about half a pound. You want a few slices or whatever you like for a sandwich and just times that by how many sandwiches you're making. I got four people today, so I'm just going to heat up plenty of it. Oh, it smells so good. We're going to let this heat through. I think that's good right there. Well, we'll go for right there. All right, we're going to let that heat through while we start our next pot. Now, you don't have to use deli meat. You can take a roast, cook it in your crock pot, and use that and just slice it really thin for this sandwich, or use leftover roast. You can even use leftover turkey breast if you cook that in your crock pot, or get deli meat turkey, because that's called a hot shot, which is very similar to a Manhattan. It's just you're using turkey instead of roast beef. In our next pot, we're going to make some mashed potatoes. Now, I'm using these Bob Evans Original Mashed Potatoes. You just find these in your refrigerated section of your store, pretty much where your processed foods are, like your rotisserie chickens, your potato salads, coleslaws, and stuff like that. That's where we find ours. We're going to heat enough up of this in order to be able to scoop onto our sandwiches. So when I cook these, I'm just going to add a few ingredients to kind of give them some more flavor. Now you can heat these up just like they are, but we like to add a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper. We find that we like that. I think I'm going to heat this whole thing up. Now if I have leftover mashed potatoes, I'm just going to make, you know, mashed potato balls with them. Oh yeah, those are good. All right, when your roast beef is heated through, you can put it on low or you can just turn it off and let it sit in the hot broth there. That broth is going to give it some extra flavor too. All right, now I'm not going to give my mashed potatoes any milk because that seems to be fine for us. We eat Bob Evans mashed potatoes a lot just for a quick side. We do know that we like it with extra butter, gives it a nice creaminess. All right, we're going to go in with some salt because we do know we need to add a little bit of salt to it, probably about a quarter teaspoon. Definitely some black pepper. And then we'll just heat these through. That looks good. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. We'll turn that on to medium and keep an eye on that while we're stirring it around. And then we got one more thing to make in our back pan back here. All right, we're going to be using two packets of brown gravy mix. Now this is the dry, and these are .87 ounces each. I'm going to cook both of these up because I know my family mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> Now I also have a recipe for brown gravy mix. This comes out a little lighter than what I want for my brown gravy to go over my mashed potatoes and toast that you're going to get from this package here. So, but I do have a recipe for this. You can find it on catherinesplates.com. You can limit your salt in it and, you know, change the flavors that you want. So there you go. All right, so I switched my pots so I can be closer to my gravy pot here. 
I got it over a high heat. I'm going to add both packages of brown gravy mix. And it says one cup of water per gravy mix. Now I'm doing one and a half cups of water total with half a cup of beef broth. Really give it some flavor. I'm going to go ahead and add that. I'm going to add a little bit at a time while I take a fork. Well, I'm just going to take a whisk that has the silicone on there so I don't mess my pots up. And then we'll just blend the gravy into the broth and the water. And just keep adding it. There we go. We're going to bring this to a boil. We're going to keep an eye on our mashed potatoes. We're just heating them through. Everything is heated through. This will take just one minute to thicken up. And I'm just going to whisk it a little bit. Get any lumps out. All right, we've got our roast beef. We've got our mashed potatoes. We've got our gravy. And then we're going to put all that on toast. Now, an original Manhattan generally comes on white bread that's not toasted, but my husband and I, we like it toasted. Let's build a sandwich. All right, so on top of our toast, we're going to place our roast beef and just layer it on there. My husband's like, more, more. <laughs> of course. It's all what it's about. On top of the roast beef, we're going to add a mound of mashed potatoes. We're going to take that delicious gravy. You're going to pour it over it. Y'all put the gravy on. Get that part. Mm, that's good. All right, I got some fresh parsley. We've got to give it a pop of color. We don't want it to look bland. And there, you guys, we have a Manhattan roast beef open sandwich. And it's an open sandwich because there's no top to this. All you need is a fork and a knife. Dive in. Let's eat. Going in for a bite with everything, right? That's how you want it. Mmm. 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 That's good. I've heard somebody used garlic bread. They toasted it in the oven and they put this on there. I bet that's delicious. Buttery, garlicky bread. Mmm. Yeah. Toast your bread for this one, you guys. <laughs> All right. That's delicious. Everything you like about a roast, mashed potatoes, and gravy all on a sandwich. All right, give me a thumbs up for this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.